way of looking at it, you know, like, but what are you doing? Why are you doing it? What's the point? Mm. What, like, yeah. Uh, what are you in service of? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, and, and, and with acting, and with, uh, this is, uh, you know, and then closing up. And, uh, this is like one of the sort of fundamental things that I, I discuss with the, with the class in the beginning, or I have been with, with, with the other classes I've been teaching, is uh, there are uh, several probably like five or six um, answers to that question of what are you in service of? Let's say like, I'm in service of the writing, I'm in service of the director who has the vision, I'm in service of the producer who's, who's I'm working for, you know, I'm turning up to work for and is paying my wages. Uh, I'm in service of the audience, I'm in service of the character. Uh, I'm in service of myself. Mm-hmm. So, like, I'll say that's a good six things. There's probably more. But <laughs> the six, six things that clearly are, are in parallel, some kind of parallel with each other when you're working. And you cannot be in service of six things equally. So there's a high, you know, we all have our own hierarchy that we put these into, you know, that these, uh, these we don't sit down and think, well, what, I'm going to make a note of this, what I'm putting in my hierarchy today. <laughs> you know, like we naturally, naturally yeah. that, that is the, the actor that you are is, is uh, a result of how subconsciously that hierarchy is arranged. Like, what are you in service of? Mm-hmm. Any, there's nothing that's wrong in that. Yeah, yeah. In this, in but it does change as you go along, right? I mean, in your career, I mean, you serve different masters or different, you know. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, but but you can still be in service of the same thing every time you do a job. Like I think generally, it's not like you don't choose. In a way, you don't choose it really uh, consciously. Like you just naturally, you naturally are in in service of these things. So. Like what is most important out of that for you as an actor, and that's different for me as an actor or for any other actor. That that hierarchy of things uh, will, will will vary from actor to actor, and it doesn't make anybody a worse actor or a better actor. It, it just it's just their signature. Like, uh, um, so I've worked with actors who it's all about them. Like the yeah. only thing they're in service of is them. And I, you know, some of those actors, I think, are brilliant, and I've had a really nice time. Some of them, I just think, like, what a, what an arrogant, like, prick, or you know, like, it's like working with a brick wall. You know, yeah. they're just thinking about themselves. But I'm. There's been plenty of times where I've been in that situation. I've then gone and seen the film, watched the film, and thought, like, shit. <laughs> God, it's not fair. Life's not fair. They're really good. Yeah. Like they're brilliant. You know, so I, I don't feel like uh, there's a wrong answer to that question. I just feel like be honest with yourself about what you're in service of. Mm-hmm. Like we're all in service of something. And so what is it that you're in service of? And what what do you want from acting? You know? Mm-hmm. Uh, what do you want from it? And that's what anything is legitimate, you know, and uh, there, but don't don't kid yourself. Yeah, it's something that it's not. That's all. Okay, one last thing before you go. Do you have a motto or a mantra? Do you work by? <laughs> um, I I guess I I guess I used to, and and it's sort of probably become uh, something that I never really need to voice or think about. But I remember. Uh, I was in youth theater, like at fourteen years old, and and the the woman who ran the youth theater, she she, you know, she knew what she was. She'd been around, and yeah. she, she oh, knew so, what. Oh, 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 she knew what she was doing. 
Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm quite a complicated person, and uh, but something that in in order to get these kids who are like got lots of hang ups and in, inhibitions uh, to work together, and these the main thing that the main thing that uh, stymies creativity mm -hmm. is your inhibitions, yeah. your fear of fear of people thinking that you're wrong or uh, out of touch or not understanding or you're stupid or you're you're arrogant or you're whatever you know all mm -hmm. these things your inhibitions and and so she taught us at an, early, at an early age this is stuff that you get taught in drama school i'm sure in many drama schools i didn't i didn't go to drama school but uh, at an early age she taught us like for what we're doing that like you have to leave that stuff at the door and in here for the purposes of these three hours like just do it like yeah. after that you don't have to do anything like but for what we're trying to do just do it don't let your inhibitions like stop you mm -hmm. from giving yourself or uh feeling like Oh, people will laugh at me, or I'll be exposed, or like for the purposes of this, and that, that's about trusting each other, trust, and what's the worst that can happen, and da 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 da, and like fostering a, an environment among people that is a uh, uh, good working environment, so you don't feel like in fear of. Uh, um, you know, I'll make a fool of myself and I'll never, I'll have to hang my head, you know. <clears throat> so, like, her, that, that sort of motto kind of stuck with me and stood me in good stead in a lot of ways. And it also then became the Nike, Nike logo, <laughs> just do it. Well before you know, then. But, it was clearly well but, before then. But for the purposes of, yeah, yeah, well, before then. <laughs> I'm, I'm embarrassed to say, but, yeah, but for the purposes of, uh, Acting, actors working together, I think it's good. It's the trust. It's, it's the it's the trust exercise, isn't it? You know, from the workshop, falling backwards, you can copy your your co your collaborators. Yeah, it's the same. It's the same principle. Yeah, it's the same principle. From heart, from you have to trust. Yeah. You have to, to, to just do it and not not for the, for the duration of this session. Don't be afraid of the consequences. Because if you're afraid of the consequences, you'll never uh, you'll never achieve any kind of forward momentum with what you're trying to do, or what the scene needs, or what the or what this group needs, you know, of actors. You know, it's a wonderful way to. Of the consequences. It's a wonderful way to end it. Um, if you're listening, guys, and you want to, and you're interested in taking part, and you want to be in service of your collaborators and colleagues who are taking part, and also. Um, uh, you and himself head on over to our website uh, Mr. Bremner thank you very much for your time thank you Paul thank you're you. Sat, you're, you. yeah you too man thanks so much I could literally ask you 25 more questions but uh, we'll, we'll save that for another time um, guys thanks so much for listening in and if you want to support this podcast you can go to buymeacoffee.com forward slash fni you can buy us a little coffee or become a member and sign up for our new mentorship scheme so if you go to wearefni.com forward slash mentors we're launching our second phase of that in the new year where you can have one-on-one -on -one zoom sessions with people working in film and tv that might um give you the impetus to uh to continue what you're doing in some cases or to maybe try something new and retrain maybe you never know but for now um uh you and thank you so much and have a great day enjoy the rest of your sunday thanks paul thanks man. cheers thank you. you have a good day cheers i'll turn off this microphone now yeah? please